What's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and today we are still playing around with our 40,000 subscriber giveaway guitar, the Gretsch Junior Jet. And one of the videos I've never done before, I don't know why, but I figured this was a great time to do it, was what if all you did was just change the pots in your guitar? Nothing else. Does it make a difference in the tone? What does it do? And this guitar with the stock pots in it that came in it had a specific problem. And so I wanted, we're gonna address that as part of this build. And then once we get done playing, with her, playing around with this, then we'll go ahead and I'll show you some of the parts that I've got for it. And we'll kind of lay it all out. And then we will start taking this thing apart. And actually let's look at see what these humbuckers are made of, uh, that sort of thing. And then at the end of the video too, I'll tell you how you can win this thing too. Um, this is part of my, I want to do a video every day this month, but that's a whole other story. Stay tuned over the next few days for that. Uh, and then at the end of this video too, I want to tell you about a couple of really cool things that are going on at Dylan Talks Tone right now. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about the pots in this guitar. Let's flash back to the last video that we did with this guitar. This is the volume on two. That's the volume on 10. That's the volume on two. That's the volume on 10. That's the volume on zero. So. So because of the taper of the pots, it was literally like on off switches. You couldn't really use it for a whole lot. So, you know, it's basically like volume on, volume off. So what we did was we took out those pots and we put in um, Born's 500K audio taper pots, which is what I like to use in just about everything. And uh, no push pulls or anything right now. These, This is not the final setup for this guitar. We'll get into that later. But, uh, Watch what happens now when we strum the guitar and play around with the pot taper. Okay, watch what happens. So we have a usable volume pot that we can use. Same thing with uh, the bridge. Or oh, same thing with the tone knob. Really nice. So now we have like proper usable pot. So, what does that do to the actual tone? On a passive guitar, it's not really going to do anything. If we leave everything where it is, you know, volume knobs up, everything we're just playing, it's not going to do a whole lot because all it is is a resistor. Now, if the value of the pot is really different, so it's a 500K pot, but it's only like 450K or 400K because it's a cheap pot, then possibly we could lose some highs on the top end. But everything being the same, if it was the same value pot and you just put it in there, it wouldn't make a whole lot of difference at all. Now, one of the things I was hoping it was gonna be able to make a difference is when we turn everything to 10, now remember in the old pots it literally would just if you turn the thing down to two it would sound exactly the same right now we still have that volume But what doesn't happen if we turn this down to about seven, so. Mm -hmm. 
the pots don't clean up the signal. It's just a resistor going up and down the voltage divider and the volume pot. So it doesn't change the signal at all. It does a little bit because of the way resistance works. You start to lose some of the highs as you go towards zero. Um, that's why most people put a volume mod in, in their guitars to retain some of that or fool yourself into thinking that you're retaining some of that is a more accurate uh, way of saying it. But all things considered, the, the guitar doesn't sound any different. We're just changing how we apply the volume and the tone on the guitar, just the taper. Hopefully, what I was hoping that was gonna do was show something very important, because this is something I get in the comments all the time. People are like, well, your pickups, uh, you know, because one of the things I really, really like about good pickups is when you turn it to, up to 10, you turn it down to seven, and they clean up. And everybody's like, that's just pot taper. That's just pot taper. No, it's not. Because we have good pot taper. We have a nice volume sweep. But the pickups don't clean up. And that is because of the pickups themselves. So that is the next thing we fix. So, on the 40,000 subscriber giveaway guitar, let's get into what we're going to do to this thing. And let's actually, now that we've kind of demonstrated that before we take it all apart, let's take the entire thing all apart and let's get it ready for some of the new parts that are here and some of the new parts that are coming. Okay, so uh, let's get this party started. Um, we got a few things in the other day. We got a Bigsby B5, so I want, or B50. So somebody asked actually over the weekend, since they saw our vlog the other day, what's the difference between a 50 and a five? the imported Bigsby versus the real Bigsby. They look exactly the same, but uh, there is plastic liners uh, on the inside of here instead of having like a proper needle bearing. But other than that, they look almost exactly the same. If you wanna save some money, you could use a B50, which is what we're doing right here. B50 is the licensed, five is the regular. That stands for all of Bigsby's. So if there's a zero on the end of it, that means it's a licensed for Bigsby. If there's no zero, that means it's an American one. Sand, and, and their difference too is sand cast aluminum versus die cast, I think. They're made different. Okay, so this dude is gonna go on here. Uh, we have a bridge problem that we discussed in our vlog the other day, uh, and I've got a solution coming for it later this week, so we're still gonna be able to put a Bigsby on this guitar as far as I can tell. So right now, uh, oh, and the other thing I got was a zero glide nut set up for it and I got a set of Grover locking tuners So let's go ahead and dismantle this thing. Let's get this thing all taken apart In fact, let's take these pickups out. I know we all want to see what's inside all right, And we don't care About the wiring because it's all coming out Pickups are out. All right, let's go ahead and, well, let's look at those pickups. Let's see what's inside them. GMB Pickup Company. Uh, you know what? I think we should get the soldering iron and see what's in here because so many people are like, you should replace the filter trons. And these are not filter trons. Basically, humbuckers that are dressed up to look like filter trons. So, let's rip them apart and see what's inside. All right. Probably actually don't even need a soldering iron. You can just get savage with them. Don't do this at home. So what these are, oh, they do have like a top plate on them though. All right, so first of all, this is just a toaster top that you can buy on eBay anywhere for probably $8. So you can buy one of these on eBay. That's it's just a generic pickup cover. And this is basically two screw bobbins humbucker. So there's a keeper bar here. There's a magnet in the middle and another keeper bar on the other side with probably two. It's all waxed together. 
Yep, so there's a spacer on this side. Yep, there's a, there was a spacer on that side. And there's a magnet in the middle. And so you basically just have a regular humbucker with two screw slug, uh, two screw bobbins instead of a bobbin with a slug side in it. So there's really nothing special about these pickups at all whatsoever. Uh, let's measure them. 8.35. So relatively low output. That makes a lot of sense. All right. So uh, fake humbuckers, I mean, fake filtertrons are removed. That all can go in the trash. I guess let's get the tuners off of this thing too. These aren't terrible tuners. Since we're going to put a Bigsby on it, I thought, let's go ahead and put locking tuners on it. Uh, not because it'll stay in tune better. That's not the purpose of locking tuners, but it'll definitely make it easier to string because then you don't need as many hands. I wasn't going to put these in today, but let's put them in. Perfect. All right. Grover locking tuners. They're a little heavier, but they're pretty nice. Somebody asked me on a video, in the comments of a video the other day, uh, if I had to drill out these tuners because he was having a hard time finding a replacement for his uh, import Gretsch. So I will leave a link to these in the video description because they are drop-in exact replacement. Everything lines up perfectly. All right, Grover tuners, locking, installed. Pretty sweet, man. They drop right in. No drilling, no filing, no modding, no nothing. They look amazing. So, and they're, I think they're 18 to one, something like that. So they're gonna be nice and accurate. Uh, awesome. I wasn't planning on installing those on video today, but hey, you know what? We got a thing done. So the next thing we got to do is um, we got to make pickups for it. Uh, that should happen sometime this week. I have a solution figured out for this bridge situation that we talked about in our vlog on Saturday or whenever that was. Uh, but we're almost there. And then we're going to switch this pot out for a push pull. And I'm going to change out all the wires and stuff too so that it's all legit. And, uh, and then we're going to slap a Bigsby on it, which is going to be pretty, pretty sweet. So... Uh, that's what we got. So if you want to win this guitar, that's the next thing. We got a couple things to talk about. One is, um, we're doing a class on guitar setup and guitar maintenance. Uh, and we're doing that once a month. I got to pick a date for May, but it's going to be a Sunday night and it's going to be somewhere around, uh, 8 PM Eastern. That's typically when we've been doing it to enroll in that class. It's usually about an hour. It's on Zoom and it's interactive, so we get to talk and chat back and forth. It's not like a video like this, and it's actually not even like a live stream. We actually get to have a conversation. You get to bring a guitar. We get to talk amongst ourselves and learn stuff. It's really fun. We had one a couple of weeks ago. A few people were there. It is awesome. Um, you go over to patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone, and uh, there's a Patreon level that you sign up for. If you miss the first one, when you sign up for it, you get access to the previous ones. So you get the whole thing, which is pretty cool. Um, it was really fun, and I'm really excited to do the next one. The next one is going to be about nuts. So um, how, how to set up the nut on your guitar, what's the right height, how to measure it, um, what if you have to do some work on it, talk about nut files, all that kind of stuff. going to be pretty in-depth. It was The last one was really good. So anyway, check that out. If you want to win this guitar, number one, you have to be subscribed. So hit the button. Number two, you have to go over to Dylan, DylanContest.com and sign up. That's it. That's all you have to do. If you live in the United States, you're automatically eligible to win this guitar. If you do not live in the United States, uh, then what we do is we're going to put together a, like a care package of stuff. Pickups and pots and a bunch of stuff to make your guitar amazing the one that you already have or a project that you're working on so we'll get with you if you don't if you we're going to pick a name when we give this away uh in the united states we're going to pick an international name randomly and then 
I'll get with you and we're gonna put together a care package so you get something cool so you can have a cool guitar when you're done as well. I don't wanna forget about anybody. Uh, this is May, I'm trying to do a video every day, so I guess we will see you tomorrow.